so whenever we select any wrong property for account dimension or entity dimension etc it will show the errors so whenever you refresh the database so click on actions and then refresh the database right it should not take more than one and a half minute for our application in live right say it will be two minutes or three minutes depending upon the size of the application every time it will take the same time so if it is taking more time what does that mean it means you have some metadata errors so to see those errors you have to click on navigate overview under application navigate overview under application click on actions validate metadata click on actions validate metadata click on validate metadata and then run see we got 32 errors so expand and see what are those errors right all these are errors so again click on scenario and then see the data storage should be never shared so variance yes right so scenario dimension intentionally i did this error okay so you can keep for account dimension it should be only 15 or 16 let me so see account receivable i see receivables payables so the the data storage should be okay this is i i did not create this member somebody has created created this member right so yes we will see one thing cancel this go to one minute before that one right just give me one second one second we'll take a backup of this one so that right we can run how do i take the backup export it will show you in the right yes so this is the we'll rectify some of the errors okay not this one yes click here here this it is clearly showing the right yes so first one is fccs account receivable come here cancel this go to dimensions go to account dimension what is the member here you can if you want you can search it like this right yes click on below so this one account receivable i see receivables i see receivables payables this is the error so it is in when you edit this one right this is a base member it cannot be dynamic calc so only you will understand what are the when when i explain the entire properties right then you will understand so cancel this so i am deleting this one right done yes can i delete this yes i can delete this one so if it is user somewhere see it is saying that the deletion of member i see payable because the member is used one of the following form so first you have to delete that form so how do i find out that form so here click on actions and then show you says so total assets siraj right this is created by siraj right so yes we will go to navigate forms so expand library so where is siraj siraj here right so yes this one i'll delete this form now close this one now again delete this member now it will be deleted right yes done that member is deleted so next what is the next error so i see receivables payables yes this is also this one this is the member actual okay done ns store variance all these are right intentionally i created this errors though there should be 14 errors now come here again see i am doing one more mistake here in entity dimension expand expand asia for india edit and i'll select this never share as 
right some edition edition i'll put it as edition here save done now see you will see a new mistake here come here how do i validate the metadata please confirm anybody please tell the steps how do i validate the metadata yes 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 and then run run now the number of errors should be 15 only so ntdc so the control operator should be ignore only we should never put addition for entity so cancel again go to navigate go to dimension go to entity dimension and then expand total geography expand asia india edit and then put it as ignore now save it then now we'll refresh the metadata refresh the metadata so how much time it should take one minute, one minute or one minute 30 seconds max if it is taking more than that immediately right if you know how to resolve then resolve it otherwise please inform me okay in live the metadata error should be zero once again i'm saying in live how, how many metadata errors you will see zero in our application it is 14 or 15 right yes intentionally for our learning purpose i have created those errors i have to show you right what happens if i put notes in, uh, in, uh, means uh, if i put uh, ignore what happens if i put addition what happens if i put uh, subtraction so for learning purpose i intentionally created those errors are we clear now yes or no yes or no how many validation errors should be there in live zero so click on overview now go to actions and then validate metadata and then run right yes this one intentionally i created this error variance so data show is for all base members right you cannot put dynamic only for parent members we can put dynamic even this one also so all are see you can see all these are under metadata hierarchy m hierarchy now come here go to navigate dimensions see here you are seeing m hierarchy and p hierarchy so please 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 request siraj somebody has right has created a member in the main hierarchy so whenever you want to practice you can practice you can create members under this p hierarchy yes whatever you want to do r d yes you can do entire r d under p hierarchy never touch m hierarchy and original hierarchy main hierarchy for every dimension see entity i have created p hierarchy and then m hierarchy so p hierarchy is for learning purpose m hierarchy uh, i mean p hierarchy is for our uh, r d purpose metadata hierarchy means for our learning purpose and main hierarchy it actually holds the data right so when you change anything the in, in in main hierarchy right it will take some time to rectify so when practicing practice under this hierarchy okay for product also it will be same for scenario see scenario variance it is showing error right because for variance i put dynamic calc even though it is base member i put dynamic calc that is the reason it is showing error intentionally i did this error because i want to show you right the error message clear this is called valid validate metadata let me 